what is good youtube it's your ball mario b coming at you guys with our week 7 team builder slash battle for the bbl the bandless batters league and if you guys are hyped to see us potentially get our second dub of the season make sure to leave a like down below and if you guys are brand new as always definitely definitely consider subscribing guys so um yeah if you guys didn't catch our battle from last week against the homie og albina make sure to check the description down below and go check it out but i'm going to spoil it in three two one We took the L. We took the L, but it's all good. We took the L. We took the 1-0-L. It was a very, very close game. Um, I wasn't really feeling the best, so my energy was a little bit low that day. Um, so I think that kind of affected the play. But nevertheless, a good game to OG Albino for sure. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead and uh, dive into this week's matchup, which is our Week 7 matchup. And it's going to be going against the Tasmanian Toxic Croaks and Coach Max Rapture. I've actually caught an OU Wi-Fi battle with Max on the channel before, and I also caught an L to him in GDL. I think it was like a 4-0, 3-0 uh, L. So we're looking for revenge. We're looking for blood because this man has beaten us multiple times, and we want to catch a W against them. So uh, this is going to be a little bit of a quicker team build just because I was actually getting connected with Max, and he said that he need to gen his team so i figured hey i'll take this time to do a team builder since last week i didn't make one and this time i was kind of rushed so i'll do a quick little team builder uh, as you guys can see uh, my opponent's team is right above my head and then our team is going to be over there um his team does consist of the Excelgore, Aerodactyl, Bisharp, Magirna, Mamoswine, Marowak, Alola, Naganadel, Pikachu, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Uxie, and the Verizion. so a couple of things to know about his squad is that um Excelgore can be annoying with like final gambit shenanigans could definitely definitely be annoying and I've seen him run it before So it is a little bit scary Aerodactyl lead can be scary as well. Very very reliable rocker for him He's free to run choice banded adamant as well if he wants to do that this matchup um, Yeah, Aerodactyl is kind of scary. It can hit really really hard as far as having like rock and uh, flying coverage stone edges hit my team pretty hard uh barring shuckle and garchomp uh bisharp which is his kind of like i think bisharp makes it really good with his team especially against mine because he has three psychic weaknesses in verizion urshifu and the nagana del and bisharp can block those switch into those pretty freely so i like bishop for his squad for sure another stealth rocker on the side another hazard setter as well and then he has Magirna. Magirna is super, super annoying in draft. Uh, he was able to get Naganadel and Magirna, so that's pretty overpowered if you ask me. But um, yeah, and I forgot to mention as well, guys, we are currently 1-6 and, and my opponent is 5-2. and two. I think my opponent is actually in 5th place at the moment, or like 4th place if I'm not mistaken. So we're looking to knock him out of playoffs because, you know, that's how we want to do. We want to go out with a bang, so we're going to try to pick up the dub. But uh, yeah, next he has Mammal Swine, which Choice Band and Mammal Swine hits like a truck, right? Nothing really switches into it. He has a lot of offensive pressure coming from his team. Whereas I feel my team is a little bit more balanced in a way. Um, not going to doubt, which if that thing gets a nasty pot up and drops a Draco, it's pretty much chaos for a lot of my mons uh pikachu which is a very very annoying i don't expect him to bring the pikachu i have seen that he brought it like twice or three times out of the five six weeks that he's played so um he he says he typically brings it when it has a good matchup but i don't think he has the best matchup in front of a kofag in front of a guard chomp in front of him on top in front of a like a lantern with volt absorb i mean i'm forced to run water absorb if i do bring it this game for the urshifu but i can still definitely see him not wanting to bring it because i have the lantern Make sure to drink your water, guys. If you haven't drank your water today, make sure to drink a bottle of water. Get something to drink. Get some chips. And get ready for this game because it should be a good one. Urshifu Rapid Strike, which is the water fighting type, which you is no stranger to the channel. We had that uh, for the IBL, and it put in a lot of work for us. Thankfully, no GMAX. Thankfully. <laughs> um, so that might be a little bit more manageable with a water absorb mon on my team, but not really at the same time because uh, Lantern does not switch into close combats. Um... Uxi, which is an annoying, bulky, psychic type mon. I brought Umbion every week, so I'm hoping that that discourages him from bringing the Uxi, but I'm not really sure if it will. And then Verizion. Verizion, I feel, is very checked. It's checked very easily this game, so I don't expect it to come, but if it does come, I'm expecting a special set over the physical, just because I feel like that can do more work for him for sure. And uh, yeah, that's going to be his whole team right there. Sorry if the mic has been kind of loud. I think it might have been really loud. I'm sorry for that if it was. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into the team that we are bringing and why. But 
first off, we got Huitzilopochtli, as always, with the Assault Vest. This is my only switch into Naga Nadell. Um, but we have a nice, really, really nice um, play around it. So this thing is basically EV to live a plus three um, Draco because of the investments, because of the uh, potential beast boost and nasty plot. So he can get a kill with a, with a plus two and then get a, get a beast boost, which I'm not expecting to let him do, but he could. But he could somehow, you know, games happen, things happen. Uh, I'm not the luckiest dude in the world. So uh, that seems like something that could definitely happen to me. And then, um, uh, yeah, this spread is basically, like I said, to live a plus three Draco and then Oko in return with the Earthquake that we have right there uh, after Rocks. So after Rocks, we have about a 93.8 chance to knock the, the Naga Nadell out. Uh, Flame Charge is really good late game. You know, it allows us to outspeed things like the Aerodactyl. If Aerodactyl's chipped up, we can uh, hit it with Braver for about 50% uh sacred fire is really good against this team and so is the earthquake like i said this is mostly my naga nadel switch and it's not coming until naga nadel comes uh, out and hopefully we can um you know this can be a late late game win con especially with like sacred fire earthquake hitting things like the mammal swine like the magirna like the marowak like the urshifu with brave bird um like the verizion with sacred fire and the excelgore and the bisharp with sacred fire as well so we hit a lot of his team with this set if we can get a flame charge that'd be awesome next we got shark boy uh fat chomp fat chomp again guys i'm loving fat chomp fat chomp is so so good we're bringing fat chomp once again we're running a very very bulky set i think it's actually max is it max hp max no no it's like 196 hp 228 defense and 84 speed so the speed on there is just one point more to outspeed a adamant mammal swine by one point um i felt that speed tier was very very important and then this thing can switch into things like aerodactyl uh marowak it can switch into the urshifu one time we can switch into verizion we can switch into bisharp so very 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 good mon here uh, as a defensive pivot and defensive backbone for the team uh stealth rock fire fang stone edge earthquake um Stalled Rock is going to be very, very important in this game. We need it to hit Aerodactyl. We need it for Marowak. We need it for Excelgor. We need it to break any potential sashes. We need it so that it gets off that little bit of percent off for Naga Nadel for Ho-Oh to kill as well. So I'm thinking this might be my lead. This might be my lead. I'm hoping that he leads off with something like the, um, you know, the, uh, the Aerodactyl or the potential um, uh, Bisharp. So uh, that's the thing. And Max actually just pinged me. So I'm going to go through these a little bit faster. Choice Scarf, Starmie with uh, Flip Turn, Psychic, Rapid Spin, Scald. If we can get the... the wait. Oh, I don't... Mm, that's a little bit unfortunate. I had Trick on this set. But I forgot that I changed it for Flip Turn. Um... Is that the worst? It's really not the worst, I think. Right? That's what I had. Yes. Okay, I think this is a set still because I don't want hazards on the field. So rapid spin could be a little bit annoying. I didn't see anything that we needed over this. Um, skimming through real quick too. I don't think there's anything that we could really use except maybe like a T-Wave. Which at the end of the day, I don't think helps me. And Rapid Spin is going to help us since we're not running rocks on ho -Oh. But this thing can definitely put in a lot of work. Catch him off guard. This is another lead I'm contemplating going, depending on what he brings. Uh, next, we got my boy JV rocking the Life Orb. This is a win con for us as well. We are rocking a pretty unique set in uh, 60 HP, 84 attack, 4 defense, 140 special attack, and 220 speed. We have enough speed on there to outspeed Adamant Bisharp, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, after we get a shift gear up, we outspeed everything. We hit everything with Boom Burst. We two hit KO Magirna with the Fire Punch, and we kill everything with Overdrive. The ultimate counter to this set is going to be Lightning or Marowak, which I don't expect him to bring, but if he does bring it, this set does not put in as much work as I would like it to. So, um, but this thing can definitely win. This thing can definitely win. It kills everything with Boom Burst, a very, very powerful Mon Tech Punk Rock ability. Next, we have Paper Cut, which is another uh, another win con this game. Now that I think about it, we have two Life Orbs. But uh, yes, our win con this game, rocking a Timid Nature, max HP, max speed, so that when we get the Beast Boost, we will get the speed and boost um leaf blade sacred sword swords dance and knock off if we get a swords dance up and everything is chipped down just a little bit like 10 percent off on everything maybe we win we win so that's the goal um paper cut 
coming to claim bodies this game and lastly we got the homie grandmaster d-ray rocking the citrus berry our switch into mammal our switch into urshifu pretty much uh with the berry intimidate ability uh close combat mock punch rapid spin and toxic another form of removal like i was saying guys that we need toxic is okay just for trying to get it off if we can close combat mock punch hit both the urshifu and the uh mammal swine for damage so that's gonna be the team guys i'm gonna go ahead and get connected with max and i'll be right back at you guys with that battle Alrighty guys, we are back and if you guys did skip to this part of the video We are going to be taking on Max Rapture, coach of the Tasmanian Toxicroaks and Like I said in the team builder guys, Max has actually caught the best of us twice in a OU Wi-Fi battle and in the uh, GDL he got us with a cool like sub Dracovish set so hopefully we can get him this time with our Kartana set or our uh, Toxicity set um, I think we are all connected uh, I'm gonna tell him have fun good luck and uh, let's go ahead and see what he brought bang, bang, bang. I'm not too too nervous for this game because as you guys know we're not in the best position record wise but um, oh he does bring the Marowak good lord okay so what did he didn't bring what didn't he bring no Bisharp, which I really, really like. No Bisharp, and he doesn't bring the Aerodactyl either, which I thought was a good bring, but... Uh, Marowak does come, which is the ultimate Toxtricity counter, which is a little fortunate, so we will have to kill that off first um, before we can get it going. And then he brings the Uxi as well. Okay, the Uxi, which is a little bit annoying in theory. So hopefully it's not too annoying in game. Um, okay, so I kind of want to lead with Chomp now. Kind of want to lead with Chomp now. Um, I think Chomp is a fair lead. If he's not gonna die, just go into Huitzilopochtli. If he leads Mammal Swine, I have enough speed for an Adamant. He might go for Ice Shard though, so probably not the best. Um, probably not the best. So I guess Starmie is the lead here. Starmie is the lead. Starmie puts in a lot of work against everything that's not named um, Magirna or Uxie. So Trick would have been really, really nice here, but we I opted for, for Flip Turn instead. Um, I opted for Flip Turn. And uh, yeah, I opted for Flip Turn. So hopefully um, it works. Hopefully the Flip Turn pays off, so. We're going to go ahead and end the Mew more now and put the Pokemon Coliseum, guys. I have really, really... Okay, so he needs this. So do I just go for Psychic right off the bat? Do I just go for Psychic right off the bat? I think I do. And Psychic should kill unless this is a, a Psychic Resist Berry, but I'm not going to think about it. I'm clicking Psychic here, baby. We click in Psychic. And if we can get this out of the way, oh my god, that'd be so huge. That'd be so huge if we can get rid of this early game. I think he's going to know we're Scarfed, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but hey, it's it's worth it. It's worth it. I love you, Pops. I love you, Pops. Looking at me from the stands. I love you. Please just stay in. Please just stay in, Max. You know you want to stay in, bro. You know you want to stay in. You know you want to stay in. You can get off a huge Draco on this thing and kill. And kill. Stay in. No, you want to. Yes, this should kill. This should kill. This should kill. This should kill. Bye. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. So Starmie will kill. Not gonna doubt. Awesome. 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 Perfect. 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 Uh, so now, yes, perfect. So now, actually, my ho can check this. My ho can be 100% my check to this, which I love, which I love. Uh, if he wants to call mine here with Sacred Fire, we are AV. We can live the hit no matter what. If he wants the Thunderbolt, if he wants the Volt Switch, that's fine. We don't care. Um, getting Not Gonna Doubt out the way early is such, such a huge defeat. Such feat, not defeat, because the game's not over, but it's a huge defeat for us. You know what I'm saying? He's a Thunderbolt here. We'll see how much this does. Nothing to 153. And it was a crit. And it was a crit. Oh, he... mm. Mm. Bro, I swear. There's nothing that grinds my gears more than all the hacks we have been handed. Um. Ah, oh, good lord, man. Good lord. That is so unfortunate. Um. We'll stay in here. We'll take her fire. Hopefully, we break through the para. 
Uh, he's going to go into Marowak here. I was going to Earthquake. We do land the Sacred Fire, and that does a sizable chunk. Cursed Body, that's fine. Do I stay in here in Earthquake? Because I don't... I don't have Chomp. I have Chomp, and I can get up my rocks. Um, man, that pair is so annoying. I'm sorry, guys. I just have been going through so much hacks in my, in my, in all my weeks. In all my weeks, it's very frustrating. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna brush it off. It's okay. Ho is used to being paralyzed. Um, we haven't been having the best luck with Ho Oh, so no Ho Oh knows its role. Um, Magirna's leftovers. I mean, Magirna is Thunderbolts. And let's see what this the Poltergeist to the Chomp. Okay, this should do it KO for sure. This is going to 2 8 KO for sure. What, to 115. To 115. Let's see. To 115. That did 45%. So I don't think this thing is Choice Bandit, actually. I don't think this thing is Choice Bandit at all. Um, it's Dick Club, probably. It's not even... Did I... Yes, right? 45? That's weird. It's probably not Thick Club. It might be Shooka. I think I'm going to take this chance to get on my rocks. I can still live that other hit. Um, perfect. Then he does switch out. He's probably going to go into Urshifu here. Triss. Uxie. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uxie here. We'll take this. Yep. Um, I, I, I'm expecting a knockoff here. Um, a knockoff, U-turn, a Toxic. I think I'm going to trade Toxics with this thing. Um... I don't have Toxic. Good lord, I forgot I didn't bring Toxic. Um, I don't want to go into Uitzel Apochli and see what he wants to do here. We can just pivot into it. He might get, want to get up his own rocks here. And if he does want to get up his own rocks here... Do I set up with Kartana right now? Let's do it. It's a little bit risky. I think this thing does get a fire move, if I'm not mistaken. Does he get a fire move? He has fire punch. He has fire punch. Toxic, perfect. Um, Mammal is probably scarfed on his end. I'm going to source dance here. Does this thing have the fire punch? I really hope not. I really hope not. Please do not have the... A foul play oh no okay doesn't do too much doesn't do too much um unless this thing is if okay okay okay, okay wait wait i want to see if it's cobra will it die to a leaf blade if it's like max hp max defense it didn't take oh god it, it came on the stealth rock it came in on the stealth rock um at plus two Oh. Okay, we have a small chance to knock this thing out, so let's go for it. Is it Cobra? It is Cobra. Okay. Um. Well, we are. Oh, we're not going to live the next one. Good lord, that's unfortunate. But now we just go into. That's unfortunate. This set didn't put in work. Um. Let me see if I can get a range of what he was at. Go bring on his end. Cobra. Yeah, he's like max HP, max defense. Um, so I think going into this can can get us the body. It's risky. Uh, I don't want to say he's max HP, max defense. I think I'm going to Quixel a Butchley here. Um, how much is that thing doing to it? Let me see. Ho oh, oh. It's only doing half. Okay, I think I gotta go into my boy JV and bank the boom burst. I think I gotta bank on the boom burst killing. Yes, I think I have to bank on this boom burst killing here. It says the roll's in our favor. Um if not, I throw away both my wing cons. It's a 93.8 chance to knock him out if he is fully defensive. So we're going to go for it. Looks to be at 50. 
It's a 93.8 chance. He doesn't switch into this very well. And if he goes into... Um, okay, let's see. Does this kill? It should kill. Perfect. Toxic Seed Pox picks up a body. Okay, okay, okay. Uxie kills Kartana. Uh, Uxie kills Kartana. And then um, Tox kills Uxie. Okay, so I'm a little sad about Kartana because Kartana could have put in the work here. But it goes down here. Valiant effort. Shout out to Kartana. It's always been a real one. Um, yeah, he saw our life orb here. He does. I don't think he has a good switch. And uh, once we get rid of that Magirna, man, our Shifu comes out here. Okay. So we're going to go straight into, um, it's not heavy duty boots. We're going to go straight into this thing here. Get off some damage. Get off some, uh, int get off an intimidate and then also get off, um, and we can see what, what he is with this, with this damage here. Uh, hit him on top versus Urshifu. As he goes for the surging strikes, it should do like 67. Okay. Okay, we should be able to live this because of the citrus. Brought us down to 66. 42, so I did about 58. So it's not banded. It's a life orb. It's not life orb either. Okay, it's a choice scarf. Choice scarf. Did about 58. It could be choice scarf. It's like either jolly or adamant choice scarf then. Um, it won't kill on the next one. Do I toxic here? I feel like toxic is safe. I like toxic here. Um, or I can double. Predicting what what comes into the I'm gonna, I'm gonna double into Huitzilopochtli because he can't kill. He should know he can't kill. Oh, does he go for it again? I don't feel like he goes into it again. I feel like he would go out into Marowak or Magirna and I want to go into this but I feel like that's a risky play I also feel that Shark Boy covers both because we can take a Surging Strikes and then we can also um, perfect, perfect, perfect does he go into Magirna or the Marowak Marowak, awesome, awesome, awesome and his team is, is free for Earthquake I'm free to just click Earthquake here perfect, perfect, okay let's go Shark Boy let's go Shark Boy, let's get it boy yaha We'll get those leftovers too. That's very nice. And we're free to just click Earthquake here. Nothing really wants to take it. Um, yeah. Just click Earthquake here, I think. We should Oko from this range. We are defensive, but um, we should still kill. Perfect. Garchomp kills uh, Marowak. Kills... Marowak. Perfect. Okay. So we kill Marowak here. Fat Chomp putting in the work. Fat Chomp putting in the work. Do we live in Ice Shard from Mammal Swine if it's like banded? Which I'm starting to think it is now. Yep, this is Mammal. Um, Mammal. Uh, do we live a hit with Garchomp? An Ice Shard? We don't. We don't live one at all. Um, I'm just gonna go to Mammal Swine here. I mean, in my uh, Grandmaster D Ray, I'll get off a Mock Punch and then I'll go ahead and switch into my Starmie and then I'll go ahead and get off a Flip Turn. Hopefully, it doesn't get up rocks here, that'd be pretty annoying. Um, but yeah, that should be okay. Get off the Intimidate here, which is really, really nice. We can also see what this thing is 105. Okay, this should two hit KO 105 down to 50 with Earthquake. 105 down to 50, 24, 6. Did 26 percent? Okay, he's not. Um, let's say he's choice scarf too. 
uh, from this range that we're at. What are we at? 50? It has a small chance to Oko, so I'll close combat here. I think it's okay as opposed to getting off the damage with... Um, it's an 18% chance to Oko us. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Hey, let's go! D-Ray putting in the work. D-Ray putting in the work. Those spreads, though. Those spreads, though. Those spreads, though. Ah, he got me. Okay, he got me. Okay. All right, so Mammo kills uh, Top. Rest in peace to Top, a real one. Rest in peace to Top, a real one. Uh, I'm going to go this thing now. Okay. So, barring paras, I hope that Ho-Oh can check the... Um, I hope that Ho-Oh can check uh, the Magirna. He shouldn't want to save this. He should just get off some Ice Shard damage, and then I should be on my way out. And I think I'm going to go into the Garchomp. Starmie kills Mamo. Yeah, I think going into Garchomp is okay. If it goes into um, the Magirna, we will kill. Um, so Mamo's done. Yep, and we get some leftovers here too, which is really nice. We'll always live the Choice Scarf. Um, oh, I don't think we live close combat though. Let's see. Choice scarf. Okay, choice scarf, choice scarf. Choice scarf this thing. Um, if it's adamant to our Garchomp here. Uh oh, wrong Urshifu. We still have time, so I'm not really too worried about the time. Um, choice scarf adamant. Level 50. Uh, we are currently at 180. So we live any hit he wants to go for here, um, but we don't do a lot in return. Oh, actually, Earthquake does about 40%, so that's perfect. We'll take that. <sighs> perfect. Okay, this should do 38 to 47. We might... He's in, he's, he's going to take three rough skin damages, too. Okay, Protective Pass. That makes sense, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Um... Last week, OG Albina ran, um, and I think we even live another one. I think we might live another, um, another Surging Strikes as well. This thing is bulky, boy. We should be doing 40 to 49% here. This is a, should be a two hit KO. Should be a two hit KO. Protective Pads was a good, was a good choice. Okay, so this thing is not Scarf, which is good to know. Um, Earthquake. I want to see how much Starmie's doing to Magirna. That's a calc I like to know for later. Magirna. And I think we'll still be able to get an earthquake off of Magirna on Magirna too. Oh, okay, yeah, that should kill. Oh, it doesn't even kill, and it's gonna kill now because of the defense drop. Fat Chomp, baby. Fat Chomp. Fat Chomp is all I have to say. Uh Chomp is the fattest boy ever. Um Chomp kills Urshifu. Perfect. Okay. So pop. Um, so we're going to get some damage off on Magirna here, um, which is going to be awesome. Let me see. Garchomp onto Magirna. If it's just max HP, it's still going to take about 67 to 80% here. Um, I hope it's not weakness policy like shift gear. That would be a little bit, like, unfortunate. But I think Ho-Oh still lives one hit, barring we don't get hit by the para. Big damage, okay. And it is Citrus Berry. Citrus. And it goes for Trick Room. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Trick Room is fine. We always live a hit with our um, with our guy. Um, Ho-Oh does 71 with Sacred Fire. So as long as we don't get hit with the Para, we should win. As long as we don't get hit with the para with the para nonsense. 
energy ball. Interesting. Okay. So, mag kills. Oh, this is plus one. Oops. Ho oh, is still going to eat a hit for sure. And, um, <sighs> Earthquake is safer because it doesn't miss. Earthquake is safer because it doesn't miss, but I am going to click Sacred Fire and I hope that he does not too hit KO us from the range that we're at. I might be slower. Thankfully we eat. Thankfully we eat. Uh, we should be able to eat two more. I hope that we can Sacred Fire here, please. Thank you, Huitzilopochtli. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna Sacred Fire one more time, please, Ho. -Oh, please, for the sake of me, Ho. -Oh, please, thank you, Ho. -Oh, good Lord, don't scare us like that, Ho. -Oh, please, please, Ho. -Oh, don't scare us like that. Good Lord, guys, I would have broken my keyboard. I really, I really, really would have broken my keyboard because um, the hacks, man, the hacks in all my leagues have been so bad, guys. So, so bad, but. Luckily, we are able to pick up the 3-0 victory versus Max Rapture. So excited, guys. We finally picked up a dub against Max, which is super, super um, exciting. Catching him off guard with the Scarf Starmy, I think, was huge. Um, I think we played super well with Garchomp, getting up those rocks. Um, hit him on top of Live that Earthquake from the Mammal Swine, which was humongous in helping us get that victory. Ho-Oh scared us at the end with that freaking Para and the Sake. Sacred Fire Miss. Oof. It's intense. It's intense, guys. When we pick up our second dub for the BBL, should be our third one. But, you know, last week we were going through some BS too, but it's all good. So, very, very excited. I did enjoy this battle. And if you guys did too, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you guys are brand new, as always, guys, definitely, definitely consider subscribing. I don't always get dubs like this, baby. But when we do, they feel good, baby. They feel good. Let's get it. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of your hair now. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for supporting. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah.